what's up YouTube welcome to another video in this video I'm going to show you how to change your local path on Linux I am on Linux Mint but this should be fairly similar on other li Linux distros I know for a fact this will be exactly the same on Ubuntu and might be the same on uh, Debian as well but don't quote me on that so what we're going to do, we're going to change your local path, meaning that if you logged in as user A, you make this change, and then you log in as user B, you're not going to see those changes. So they only will persist for user A, or the user that you made those changes for. Now, this is going to be permanent. Uh, there, are there are solutions for Linux to make changes uh, temporary uh, to the path but this is a permanent change also permanent change means that once you make the change and you log out log back in you're gonna see those changes when you reboot your system you're gonna see those changes temporary change means you made the changes you logged out logged back in those changes are gone so this is the permanent solution uh, we're going to be using Vim I'm going to open my terminal right now and we are going to see if Vim is installed first and we see that it is installed so I'm just going to exit this. Now if you do not have Vim uh, you can use another uh, text editor that you have. Uh, if you want to follow this tutorial 100% to the T uh, you can just use your package manager to install Vim. In my case package manager is apt so I would say apt install vim and then it does need sudo uh, to run this so uh, just type in your password say ok and then it will install uh, vim if it's not installed already now let's make our changes to our file so we're gonna go into a user directory and that's what this little uh, curly dash means and we're going to do slash dot dot means the file is hidden and the file is called bash rc so we're going to go into that file and we're going to go all the way back or all the way to the end of the file and i'm going to press i to insert stuff and once you can insert stuff you're going to see this insert thing that means you can now make changes to this file and this file is a script so you can use shell scripting here we are going to make an export and then we're going to create a variable for which I'm making the export and this is going to be Android home now your variable might be different depending on what um, path variable you are creating but for me I'm creating path variable for my Android SDK so I'm going to say Android home equals and I'm just going to open my location of the SDK and I'm going to copy this path and paste it in here. Now that I have my Android home done, I want to actually include this path into the path itself, into the path variable itself. So I'm going to do one more, uh, one more export and I'm going to create a new variable path. And then I'm going to assign the value of old path. And then I'm going to append at the end of that the new Android home variable that we just created. Now I can save and exit. So I'm going to hit escape, press shift, and then hit semicolon. And then I'm going to do WQ, which means write and quit. And I'm going to hit enter. And that's saved. Now if I were to echo my path right now I see that the changes I made are not in my path okay and that's because we have not activated those changes so there are two ways to activate the changes that we have just made one is to source the file and that's what we're gonna do another one is to reboot or relog and the changes should uh, take effect but we're going to source it. So we're going to type source and then the location of the file that we just made changes to, which is bash rc. Okay. So it's not going to 
tell you anything whether it was successful or not uh, uh, if you do have some errors I believe it will tell you now if we echo the path we see our Android SDK is in the path now okay that's what we wanted now let's just double check that our Android home is also available as a variable and it is so now we can reference this, uh, this variable programmatically from a script or whatnot meaning that we can do like uh, CD into into uh, this folder so that's how you change the path variable for a user this is user specific as I said and yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to like the video subscribe and share Take care, guys.